Hey, it's the twins down here with the Let's LEA go. Group. Listen, if you want to have remarkable rapport with your customers, Absolutely. have a long-lasting relationship, not just a short-term relationship, this video is for you. most powerful tool of influence. Look, if you want to be able to influence and persuade your customers and you really want to have, yep. Ian, like those customers, when you meet them, you're, you're just jamming with them, man. They love you. Yep. You're in the right zone. We're going to talk about how you get them there because if you had a million of those customers, Ian, you'd be yeah. a freaking millionaire. So we've got it broken down in 10 steps that are going to help you build remarkable rapport. So Ian, how would you say your first tip, number one on building rapport, what would you say your first tip would be? Well, number one, guys, you got to have have, you got to find mutual interest, right. right? So if you look out and that customer's approaching, they're in a certain car. Here's a really easy tip: look at what they're driving. Look and see if it has like a Broncos logo on the back. If it's got a certain basketball team, look and see what like you know they're wearing, what they've got on their shoes. If they're, they're like, a Raiders fan, they're okay with disappointment. Yeah, so Sorry. you already know that they don't really care about service. You know what I mean? If they're Raiders, <laughs> just fan. kidding. So, hey, but you know what? Rapport is fun, Evan. It and is. When you look and see mutual interest, see right there, you started smiling. You started Started connecting because it's joking it's funny and that's rapport and when I'm able to see a mutual interest I'm able to align with you and therefore I'm able to connect with you so number one bring up a mutual interest yes. it will bring you closer to the customer which raises the trust which raises the gross which raises the rapport. so dig 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 right now for that mutual that mutual connection and your mind should go there where you every can time. elevate you can elevate the customer state and, and then, that, that's where you got to be. That's where you got to live. Number two is give a gift. Evan, what kind of gift would you give to well, a car salesman out there or an entrepreneur out there watching? Number one, I'm just going to say some of you guys need to give a gift of a good smile, a good handshake, a good freaking hug. Yeah, give a gift of having some good breath. Have a too. good attitude. Yeah. yeah, give a gift of that. But but in all seriousness, if I had a customer that was coming up onto my lot and they yeah. were with a family, yeah. I would want to give them some type of, I want to I want to create uh, reciprocation yeah, is really reciprocation, the word that absolutely. I'm looking for. Yeah. Re reciprocation. It's yeah. the most powerful tool that you can use. So if I got a, a customer that's got a family mm -hmm. that's pulling up, I'm going to have coloring books in my desk. I'm going to have a little car that I can hand mm -hmm. them. It's going to deflate the customer. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd say, Mr. Customer, welcome into my store. Come here. Give me a hug. Hey, my name's Evan. I'm going to take you. I'm going to give you world-class service. I see you got your two kids here. That's a gift. Do you mind if I give them that's a quick a coloring book? Do you mind if yeah. I give them a little car? See, and some of you, you're trying to go uh, you know, close the customer. Listen, in order for the sale to be closed, it has to be open. It has to be open Absolutely. with, you know, all of the things that Evan just said. But also, guys, think of customers like an ATM. Like, you got to deposit into something before, before you can withdraw. Absolutely. Some of you just go withdraw, 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 and you don't understand why that's, you're bankrupt. Listen, listen. In order for you to do that, your rapport has to be at the highest possible level where you're not bankrupt, where you are depositing into these people where they want to actually give, give you them a, Give them a tip on a gift that you might give them. Well, listen, I'll, I'll talk about like an entrepreneur. If I was in solar, if I was in something out there, and by the way, just stay creative with us. That's okay? exactly what you got to do. Entrepreneurship is all about creating. No matter what industry you're in, you can stay creative. If I was knocking on doors, man, I would show up with something, you know, that's like a like, little housewarming gift. Just something when I knock on their door, I can say, hey, here's something for you. It's a welcome sign. It's a, you know, do not, uh, no door knockers allowed, whatever, man. I'm having fun with them, right? Yep. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And number three, listen, you got to be able to give a referral. Yes. This comes with awareness. How many of you salespeople out there can connect people within your network, but you're never willing to go deeper in that relationship? Yeah, and giving a referral is super simple. Listen, I'm a car salesman, so people that come in my business all the time, I'm trying to rent their audience. And what that means is, listen, if I'm tagging them on Facebook, they bought a car for me and I know that they're a plumber, I know they're connected with certain people and I'm bridging the gap within my network. But I can say, hey, listen, man, dude, I know that you're a plumber. Gosh, man, one of our other stores, one of this person, this person needs this. I know this person. Hey, would you want to just drop by some flyers that I could hand out to my people? Mm -hmm. Even before I go to sell them a car and they're on Facebook, that's down the line. But up front, I can just say, hey man, listen, I know that your business is important to you, right? It is, it is important. Dude, would you mind? I know a lot of people. Dude, I'm in the car business. I meet thousands of people a day. How many of you can guys I would like a, a referral hey, out there? So what would that mean referral? to you? Yes. yes. And then at the end of it, 
at the end of it, when I'm going to put him on Facebook and I know he's a freaking plumber, I can say, if you've taken our branding and marketing course, I can say, hey, listen, man, he's the best plumber around. I recommend him. He's amazing. Rent their audience because now I'm on their page. Now that they're seeing me, my branding, my marketing, my influence is growing. I started out with giving them a referral, giving them some reciprocation, depositing into their freaking bank account. That's it. And it's the right thing to do. It's a good thing to do, and it'll make you freaking happy. All right, number four, and this is definitely my favorite. My brother may not pick this up because he's not really the smarter twin. I'm a little bit more handsome. I'm a little smarter, I'm a little, a little bigger. Guys, listen, number four. Hey, I'm a little bit more gross. Ian and I have year to date. Ian and I have mastered this one. It's insulting people. Yeah. You gotta insult people a little bit. Sometimes you just have a little, gotta have a little <laughs> bit of fun. You know what I mean? Now, guys, listen. There's a fine line between joking around and actually insulting somebody. Yeah. But you gotta know when to push the line. Some people, you guys are so serious out there. Yeah. I'll joke with people, and a lot of the times, Ian, I might get like this. Like one of my one of my favorite customers. He was one of the most serious customers for people. Old veteran guy, just kind of serious. Yeah. And I would I would pick on him a little bit. Yeah. I would have a little bit of fun with yeah, him. Dude, I'd say, dude, do you ever smile, man? Like your teeth gotta live. You know, the reason why they get mine are so white is because I'm smiling. Why are you so angry? Yeah, dude, you're letting them tan. Up, you're letting them tan. Yeah, hey, dude, even tongue, if your teeth if your tongue are locked up in jail, <laughs> come on, man. Smile today with me, man. You, you gotta have a little fun with them, man. You got to. Yeah. So a lot of people never find that fine line of just joking around with joking people. Joking around. But you gotta yeah. do the previous steps in order to get there. And yeah. once you get there, that's when you've mastered the relationship yeah they're messing with you you're messing with them earn some of their respect and it's okay to joke around and you know give them a little insult and a push not disrespectfully understand but to give them that little bit of fun love that's how we do it number five and super freaking important listen tell a story yes listen if this guy's with me and he's so worried about his credit he's so worried about this i can put him at ease by just telling a story evan listen dude you remind me of this guy that was just here third party he was just he was worried about the same thing as you man he was all tense about the price he was all tense about this what he found out was that he, if he trusted me and which he had to do he trusted me i earned that trust from him i never let him down when he rolled out of here man he's so freaking happy he's excited about everything we covered everything that was important to him and his family and even more than he expected listen I'm gonna over deliver for you today Evan and just like Johnny that left here you know he had the same concerns as you man so you don't have to worry you're in the right place I deal with a million customers every day and a lot of them have the same concern as you man so I got your back so what he's using there is just third-party validation he's telling a story about certain scenarios and situations that remind the customer about what they're going through yeah. that you've been there that you got them. And that you're also the expert that can help them solve that problem because you solve these problems for a living. Okay? Yes. So get great at articulating good stories that remind customers that listen, you're the right person to be there doing business with. Super freaking important. Make it relatable. You yeah. know, make it to where and they can actually see great, themselves in that story. The best salespeople that I've ever met, they're, they're just amazing great storytellers. Amazing storytellers. Yeah. Just like great pastors, they're amazing storytellers. 100%. Get good at telling stories. Okay, and number six, guys, this is super freaking important also. Yep. Number six. Pay a compliment. Yes. And Evan, how do you do that? Well, number right one, way? well, first of all, don't state the freaking obvious. Like yeah. some of your compliments like compliment. sound so fake. Oh. Look at something that means something to the client. Yeah. If they're really good with their children, I might compliment the fact that they're a single mom, they're working hard, they're really trying. Yeah, that's and, a deep compliment. And, and, I'm, and it's gonna be real, it's gonna be sincere. They can feel the enthusiasm that, hey, listen, I come from a single mom household. The fact that you're so good with your kids reminds me of how my mom was. I turned out pretty good good minus my brother um you know and so the Whoa. way that you're working the way that I see you with your family it truly Special. means everything to me I don't see a lot of parents in here that act like you yeah and it's not a fake compliment it's actually something that's authentic it's real listen a lot of you out there you're selling with your mouth and you're not selling with your heart we sell with our hearts we pay compliments with our hearts it makes us feel good and it makes them feel good and Ian a good way that you can get good at this is if you see something in somebody in public and you see something that they like if they look good if they they talk well. Yeah. Something, something that you can tell that they Start hold to a high standard. That. Go pay them a compliment, and then all of a sudden, when you meet customers, you will be better at giving compliments that are authentic because you're aware. Number seven, Evan. Hold on, I got this, Evan. Ian, hold on. Listen, number seven, guys. This is massive. Make a startling statement, okay? <laughs> Tell me. Startling you. statement. 
How do you do that, Evan? Well, listen, before, when I meet somebody and I've already introduced myself, I've introduced myself to the family, I've gained some rapport, I may say, listen, Mr. Customer, before we do anything, can I just tell you, number one, that I'm excited that you're here. I truly am grateful. There's a difference between caring and truly caring. I truly care yep. that I get an opportunity to serve you today and you and your family. There's going to be nothing, nothing that stands in my way from providing an exceptional customer uh, experience for you, so I'm thankful you're here. Now, as we get going, can I ask you a few questions so I can better serve you? Gosh, you know what, dude? I would buy almost anything you're selling just basically because you're so dang smart and so dang and handsome. handsome. That's it. Oh, thank you, dude. <laughs> Number eight, and you can't find this. Anywhere. Number eight is great. Great service. Great service. Listen, amateurs don't have great service. When nope. amateur, you're around an amateur, you know it. Yeah, you, you know. know it. When you're you around know. a pro, dude, we know you. how you make somebody feel when they're around you is who you are. It's how good you are. Listen, a freaking Navy SEAL in this business, they can make somebody feel truly freaking amazing. A baby SEAL, dude, they can't wait to leave you, okay? So when you're around me, I want to make you feel freaking amazing. You can go anywhere in the world right now. Anywhere. And you can't fine, good service. Nope. Think about anywhere you went today. It wasn't really freaking amazing. Did it blow like, you oh away? God. Did you tell your friends about it? Nope. Listen, if somebody doesn't tell a great story about you after they left your store or whatever business you in, that is part of your brand. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, a good story or a bad story or no story is a part of your brand. When they meet the twins, they will remember us forever. Come on, What man. will they say about you? Listen, I remember when I wasn't good at that and Andy taught me something. He said, dude, you gotta get out of your own way, man. You to practice these things. All the tips we're giving you today lead to great service. But if you're just out there just listening for entertainment, you're never going to be able to give that great service. Right. So if you're like me, push your comfort zone. If you're like me, yeah, push your comfort zone, but pay attention to this training that Andy puts out there and really listen up. Because you get around an Andy Elliott, you get around a truly great salespeople like us, dude, you're never going to forget that. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come back. This is about long-term service, not just short-term service. Short-term service is for amateurs, long-term service is for pros. We're looking for to serve these customers for a long term. Level it up. It all starts with good service. Number nine is don't strike back. Listen, so many salespeople try to like overthink the customer. Chill. And so they just try Chill. to strike. They Chill. They say something, they strike. They yes. say something, they Ian, strike. Ian, Ian. A little freaking snake just. What's just, happening? Your commission breath is just striking. It's we your commission breath is just flowing. It. And here's what happens. You try Relax. to come up with an intelligent Chill. answer, an intelligent word track. Chill. Look, man, if you know your business, you're calm. You're collected. It's cool. Listen, Ian and I have boiling enthusiasm, and we're having a lot of fun filming this video with you. Yeah. But I know how to mirror my customer, and I know how to chill for a second and then strike back when the time is right. I'm anticipating it, Don't Ian. You be striking back. Come on. Chill on your strike back. Relax. Wait for the right time. So you can and throw that go. haymaker and just knock him out. You want to see me haymaker, Evan? Let's go. <laughs> so, number 10, it's the most important one. We could have put it up for Linda! Us, but this is for the pros. Linda! And through Linda. the entire video. Linda, okay? listen. listen. Number 10 is listen, Linda. Listen, man. Listen dangerously. Yep. Listen, closers are always listening, man, because then they can use what they hurt to actually make the close. Yep. Okay? And so if you're listening dangerously, you're like, man, you, you, I said that? You're like, yeah, dude, I wrote that down. You said that. This is what you said. You said that you wanted the car to do these things. You said that your budget was wrong. Oh, man. You, you, you heard that? You heard things. that? And I repeat that you said this. Oh, and wait. Like, wait. Do you know that people, they want to feel heard they want to feel that's valid. one of the most important human needs is they want to feel heard to, why don't you hear me then sometimes damn it well you know because you know, it's like talking to your own self you know what you if finish my sentence there, you know what i mean it's kind of annoying to hear yourself you know it's like you hear yourself talking some of you don't even like to hear yourself talking on camera i gotta hear mine all day every day being but a listen, twin is overrated to be a good brother i got to listen listen i got to listen listen to your so, wives listen to your husbands listen to everybody listen to your most mama. importantly listen to damn andy elliott okay listen to, if you andy. Listen to andy you go into the now next level. by the way I want you guys to text us if you want all these tips for reports and good questions to ask. Yeah. We have a PDF that you can text us. Our phone number, Ian, is? Well, it's free 99. Okay? I know y'all like free 99. Phone number is 480-780-2203. Again, 480-780-2203. It's free. We'll send you over the PDF of how to build massive rapport. Remarkable Let's go. Remarkable rapport. Remarkable rapport, baby. Come on. That's Let's the go. key. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.